I have a passion for the cooking. Pope Mun, I concocted an Efi cock soup. And to this day, that soup sits on our stove, and each serving has as much protein as a rich kid. And that Efi cock gravy was the very first thing I learned how to cook. And thank goodness I did, because it was like eating my cock. Welcome back to. <laughs> Then again, he's, this is like the 20th video he's done like this, so people start to question it. And seeing as the char meter is at Sess, you can bet your betrayed friendships that we're... What? So this is a funny little Namco playset toy. It's got like a, uh, you can play Namco in it. Love the design. As someone in the fashion industry, now we have testing grounds for these things. And sometimes when we're actually testing the toys, things get a little bit dangerous. So we're gonna take this to the testing ground, but I have been given the okay from the higher ups to try it on. Do I look like I'm in immense pain? I hope I look like that. I mean, you I could see myself wearing this to school. All of my college buddies would be, ha, look at the, the school books we're studying because we don't really care if someone's wearing a toy backpack because we're in college and we have better things to worry about. All right, I'm in school, preschool. What's before preschool? Pre-preschool. I pull up to preschool with this bad boy, all the kids. All the other 25 year olds who are hypothetically in preschool. You know what? I roll up to a frat party with this. <laughs> and I, I start to open it up. What do people think? Ooh, hours of fun right here. Years of fun. Ooh, flippy game. We're gonna be launching PMP. So it did come with this one go figure. You can get more. I didn't get more because my parents couldn't afford it. Look at me. I'm in the Oh, there's a PP over there. No, he's getting sussed into the- All right. Now that's awesome. <laughs> Stupid dead guy. I feel like this would be more fun if I had friends. Pikachu, you are on trial for the murder of- Who's someone who died? Specifically like that happened a long time ago so I can make jokes about it without people getting mad. You are on trial for the murder of John- Tron. How please you? Don't care. Death. So you can put Pikachu in there. Oh, I shut this there. And now he's in prison for the murder of John John. If you're having like a fun get together, friends or family, maybe it's a family reunion or something, pull this bad boy out. It could probably be pretty fun. And now it's just a nice set piece for the rest of these unboxings where we can come over and, and test the other toys and how, how they would work out in this fun little playground. We're gonna look at these dudes next. Walkie talkies are fine, but like, what, what do these have to do with Pikachu? Do they make you sound like Pikachu? Do these make you hear like Pikachu? What does Pikachu hear like? I do have to point out, this does have great stereo sound. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be critical about these. I'm gonna put them to the test. You better back that up, because on this channel, we don't let things fly. Welcome to the technology testing area. This is where we get to act a little more our age. We kind of treat things with a little more maturity as we test out funny Pikachu toys. But with these funny Pikachu toys, at least you could use them for any adult purpose as well. Eh, maybe that sounded a little weird. Like you could listen to some hardcore rap music, some explicit tunes with these. Kids would hate this. I figured to do a legit like mature adult tech review, we should have a base to test these on, something kind of comparable to, to see, you know, how good the sound is in comparison. So to test these little $3 headphones, I got a pair of Sennheiser 650s. When you buy these, they don't say like, a super high quality good sound. These did. So I gave it about 30 seconds there. And I kind of realized, <laughs> I don't check about how to describe sound quality or, or anything. I, I put on headphones and sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it doesn't sound that good, but I don't know. I'm not gonna notice a flippin' difference. Let's just plug these in. I don't know <laughs> if these are like good quality or I'm really just that bad at judging audio quality, but these sound pretty darn similar. I mean, they're smaller. Sounds like I'm in a smaller space listening to these, but. I couldn't tell the difference between these and Sennheiser HD 650s. Either my audio skills get a thumbs down or these get a thumbs up, I don't know. Let's test out these dudes. You're not gonna get a pair of walkie talkies to use by yourself. So me testing this by myself wouldn't make much sense, right? Don't worry, special guest on the show. You guys might remember this fella, it's Fan Fever. Fan favorite, Fan Fever over here if I can make a pun and I should get one per video. He's gonna help me test these out today, right bud? 
I really am super by myself, aren't I? Oh, there it is. Okay, you gotta really talk into the microphone, though. Eber, how do you think of how you think my show's going since you left the set? This is the sound quality of the microphone and walkie-talkies. I mean, again, I might be bad at judging sound quality, but this sounds like exactly as good as those Sennheisers. And now we've got new friends we can add to the set here too. Just liven up the, the main stage here. This guy lives here, and this guy, he'll live right here because I don't have a spot for him. Kirby is listening to some funky fresh tunes and or adulty jazz. Party's just getting started. This is getting real lively up in here. I should I should have got Nick to do this video with me. Eevee toy. I turned that off because it was putting glare on the camera and you couldn't see from this angle what was going on. Just, you know, little, little things like that that make me really good at what I do. My partner, Eevee. Now, no, not my wife. Partner, there's a difference. That's my wife. People were looking to context for that joke uh, in the last song quotes on video I did. There's no context. I don't know what to tell you. Just just think of it as an inside joke. Shit. <laughs> Supposedly, you put this little dude on your hand and she turns her head and he, she talks to you. 50 plus reactions. As a YouTuber who some of my job entails reacting to things, that's a good amount of reactions. You could be a pretty solid personality that people might enjoy watching if you had that many. I tend to have like maybe three or four reactions per video and half of them are just, what Pokemon is that? I don't know. That's funny. These are for kids. I'm not a kid. Supposedly, she says, Eevee, Eevee. Now, I've said that before. So again, I, I really relate to this, this toy. Got touch sensors on the head, on the ears. Oh, what a clean, satisfying unboxing. It's fairly flexible, like just different moving parts. And it's very cute. If you like Eevees, I personally hate them. I think they're pretty gross. What even is this? Is it a dog? Is it a hippo? How, I don't know. Back here at the technology circle, we're gonna be playing I wasn't even trying to say words there. Honestly, you just turn it on and then you just have a fun pet. That should be how it is, right? Ooh, hi! Hello! That means hello! Oh my gosh, I actually knew that from That also means hi. She said hi again, oh my gosh. Stop saying hi. We've, we've introduced ourselves already. Hey, Evie, do a backflip. Whoa, she just did that by herself? Probably some games you play with this, right? Let me get the instructions. Evie, be entertaining. Play with Evie through touch. I'm trying to read, quiet. Touch Evie's head too, too many times in a row and Evie will become annoyed. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to it. I would love if they made a bigger one with more options. And in fact, at that point, they might as well just make Eevee a real thing. Like, that'd be pretty fun too. Cloners! All the people who are cloning animals out there and doing like weird biological experiments, get on it! I mean, come on, whoa. Oh yeah, we, we can clone a sheep. Oh, fun. Yeah, because that's what we want to do in society. We want more sheep, because we can't just make sheep on our own. It's no way to make sheep. Glad we figured that out. Make Eevees! She agrees. And Evie will live right on top of the tree V. Cause it's a pun. No one trainer guess. Electronic guessing game. So I'm guessing this is like a 20 questions game. Hello trainer. Barf. Hello trainer. Barf. Think of a Pokemon. I will guess it. This will be interesting for me as somebody who doesn't know the names of more than like 10 Pokemon. And I do. I know, like, my whole jokes lately have been, I don't know what a Pokemon is. What is the Eevee? Is it an elephant? Is it a giraffe? Like, like, to give you an idea, that's a Charizard. That's a Beware. That's a Lucario. That's an Umbreon. Bird guy, I don't know. But like, you know, sometimes I play a little bit of stupid around here. Sometimes I, I know a few more Pokemon than people actually think. Yeah, I didn't know half of those. So... It also gives you a guide of what your response should be if someone offers you extremely hard drugs, and that would be this one. I also don't believe for a second this kid is actually holding that Pokeball. You're like, oh, pretend you're holding a Pokeball. He's like, okay, I'll do that. Also, you could just give me the Pokeball. Just have it on set. But then again, kids aren't real. Welcome now to the unboxing area known as the thinking chair. This is the chair where we do things that involve more thinking, such as this mind game. Well, you're old ball. Now, after I named this area the thinking chair area, I remember that that's a thing in Blue's Clues, but I remember that after the fact, so it's fine if I, if I just steal that. 
Hello, trainer. Are you ready for your Pokemon journey? I can read your mind. Witchcraft. I'm gonna go with Eevee. Yes. Say okay when you're ready. Okay. Is it originally from the Kanto region? I don't know what that is. Okay. Can your Pokemon evolve more than once? I don't know. I see. Is your Pokemon weak against water type moves? I don't know. Okay. Is your Pokemon a first partner Pokemon? I like her. Is your Pokemon a normal type? What does that mean? Can you make your Pokemon evolve with a Moonstone? I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, you were thinking of Spitty. Am I right? Like, like this book gives you gives you info on the on the, on the Pokemon, right? Here's a Torchic, and it tells you where it's from, tells you what what his evolutions are, gives you like weight and stuff and fire type, right? I don't know if it evolves with a, a Samus Stone, a a Bazinga Ball, or something. Like these are things this doesn't even tell me on here. So how am I supposed to know? And if I do know, if I know all the things about my Pokemon and I tell him these exact things, he's just going to guess it because all this is is an algorithmic yes or no question narrowing down of options until there can only be one or two left. And so I personally, as a 25-year-old, find myself to be above this toy and beyond its mental capacity. And I see through its games. It's just Akinator, but Akinator is more fun because sometimes you can find like really niche funny things. Like, I can't even think of a niche funny thing. All right, we'll be all go ball. Can he be launched by this? I think this is nice. The last toy and the weirdest toy. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know whether or not I titled this video weird Pokemon toys. I probably will. Maybe I won't, but that's the idea of the video going into it anyway. When I ordered all these toys, the idea was weird Pokemon toys. Whether or not I stuck to that, who knows. But this is really the only like really weird one. I mean, a backpack that opens up into a three-dimensional world you can play in with some mini games is weird. And a plastic EV robot thing is pretty weird by standards like 50 years ago. AI has come a long way. But this is the only one that's really like just bizarre to me. And look at this kid. A and look what look what he does. I he just launches Pikachu. As far as I'm concerned, and again, my knowledge of Pokemon isn't very good. I never grew up with the show, I never played the games, but to my knowledge, there was never a point in any of the properties where just throwing the Pokemon was a standard Pokemon trainer thing to do. But it's Ash. He's got some hip hip movement, hip action here. And you're just supposed to use that motion to launch Pikachu. Look at this little guy. You're just going to be throwing him across the room. And he's a little bit squishy too. He's a little bit, he's just a little bit rubbery, which I kind of like. But like, I still really want to just, I really just want to launch our last escapade will be bombing that village that we set up using this nuclear weapon. Twisty Ash has no souls, and he will easily do this horrible thing without remorse. Well, thankfully, despite how extremely violent that was, everybody's perfectly fine. Because, uh... YouTube ads. Does your Pokemon have one or several horns on its head? Can you repeat? In conclusion, this toy is pretty cool. All right, fold it all up. Let's go. Time to go home from school. Sure is nice having rich parents.